Getting inside the DRB turf wouldn't be tricky with raw firepower, but Jenny wants you to go through the whole complex without alerting the gang members to your presence. If they ever go hostile, you fail the bonus. Here is our perfect run through the DRB territory, completing the objective without alerting a guard. For this progression, my character is equipped with stealth augs as well as the stun gun and the trank rifle. You can go for lethal takedowns if that's your thing, as long as your actions are not witnessed by the other guards. Standing in front of the DRB turf, you'll see a small ramp leading to a tire. Crouch into stealth and go through the tire. While crossing through the tire, pull out a trank rifle and silently take down the guard in front of you on the ramp straight ahead. When all is clear, silently move down the ramp into the DRB territory, hugging the wall to avoid having the guard see you. Go down the ramp, past the sleeping guard, to enter the DRB facility. Once inside, run through the hallway using silent weapons or takedowns on the one guard in front of you. Eventually, you'll enter a long hallway with two guards in conversation with each other. Get close enough to the guards to trigger the full conversation to be played. When the guards are done talking, they'll move to their specific spots and you'll have enough time to strike. If you don't have the ability to take down two guards at once, you can use my strategy, which is to use a combination of silent weapons and silent takedowns in a way that the guards don't see each other. Once the guards have been taken care of, go through the garage door to enter the inner chamber of the DRB territory. Use a silent takedown on the guard patrolling up and down the roadway path. It makes things easier for the journey ahead. Pull them inside one of the buildings for safekeeping. Hug the storage carts and quietly move around the gang members to your left. Up ahead are two guards who are patrolling the center area. When the first guard stands at the wall nearest you and faces the other way, hug the walls and run around him. Next, follow the second guard ahead of you further away until he's behind the objects and take him down in silence. Once those guards are out of the way, you only need to push the barrels aside and go to your right to find the weapons cache. Go back the way you've came and you've made it through the entire area without making a peep. Just remember to save often so you can avoid replaying sneaking sections over and over again. The final task to complete for Jenny is to meet O'Malley for information about the hit. Jenny needs you to sabotage the hit by stealing the murder weapon and knocking out the intended target instead of using the murder weapon. O'Malley can be reached through the subway systems or by putting an augmentation point into surviving electricity and going through the electric path. O'Malley wants you to pick up a crossbow to carry up the hit. Quizzing O'Malley will reveal his intentions to start a gang war in Detroit. Pick up the crossbow and head for the apartment building to carry out the hit. You don't need to worry about alerting these guys, just make sure you use non-lethal takedowns rather than more dangerous weapons. With all three tasks done, return to Jenny and report in. If you want, you can lie about the crossbow if you want to keep it. Jenny's final task for you is to apprehend O'Malley. Return to his apartment and find O'Malley awaiting your arrival with a counter deal. You can take the deal if you want, but since this whole mission has been about helping Jenny, we'll reject the offer and tase the scumbag. Return to Jenny one last time to earn a mess of experience points and some sweet weapons mods. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see tricks, strategies, and achievement guides for the latest games, please subscribe to The Real Giant Bomb.